Well, you can't say this one was boring, can you? The Chargers win their home opener to start the 2015 campaign, and what a comeback it was. Down 21-3, they go on to score 30 unanswered points and take this one from the Detroit Lions, 33-28. to Now, it's always great to get a win in the first game of the season. It sort of sets a tone for the season that you hope you can keep going forward. But the big thing from this game was the ability for this Chargers team to fight back from adversity. Phillip Rivers and Eric Weddle talked about it after the game. They said, look, this Chargers organization as a whole, no stranger to having to claw and fight their way back in a game, no stranger to having to fight through adversity. But this team is. This is a group of young guys. This is a group of guys who have never played together before. They don't know about this whole adversity thing. So while this game, it would have been fun if it had been won in an easy fashion and they had just routed the Detroit Lions, I really think that going through that adversity is going to help this team down the stretch. And Rivers talked about it too. He said, look, in November, December, if you're going in the playoff hunt, you can look back on this and you can remember the kind of team that you are, a team that doesn't get spooked when they're down 18 points, a team that is able to get it together and show some grit, show some character to go back and have a comeback win. And that's just what they did today. The biggest comeback back win in the history of the Chargers at home. Now a lot of good things to point out from this game. The defense shutting down some talented Detroit receivers, Calvin Johnson, Golden Tate, Kyle Emanuel with his first sack and interception in the regular season. A sack and an interception in your first game in the NFL that actually counts. I mean that is a big deal. And after the game, Emanuel, he's so calm and cool. He's like, I guess I would call it a good day. Yeah, Kyle, that's a good day. Patrick Robinson also with an interception and the defense as a whole just with a lot of three and outs really doing a lot to shut Stafford down and get the ball back to the offense and the offense it sputtered a little bit in the first quarter but then it showed a lot of grit itself Danny Woodhead with two touchdowns Stevie Johnson with his first touchdown as the charger Ladarius Green concussed last week he goes on to have career highs and receptions and also a touchdown but the big story Keenan Allen 15 receptions for 166 yards nothing was was stopping Keenan Allen today. He was feeling it out there and he was catching everything pretty much that was thrown at him today. Uh, Rivers would have had even more touchdowns. He threw one to Malcolm Floyd to end the first half in the end zone. Threw it just a little short. Malcolm Floyd missed it and it was intercepted. Rivers said after the game, that was just a horrible throw. Eh, it happens. All right, so certain things are going to need to be cleaned up. And of course, you know, all, all the players after the game were saying, yeah, well, we need to fix this, but we need to fix that. But as a whole, you like what happened today. And they were pretty happy in the locker room. Tom Telesco, very happy after the game. Mike McCoy as well. So a lot of things to work on, but really a good start. On the injury news, DJ Fluker got carted off the field. I saw him leave Qualcomm Stadium in a walking boot and on crutches. Now, it's hard to say. I mean, I've seen guys leave before in a walking boot, and it turns out to be not too serious. So it could be precautionary with him. Certainly, you don't want to see that, but we're going to have to wait more to learn about that. Now, the offensive line as a whole it did pretty darn well. This is the first time they've played 60 minutes together. Rivers said after the game, look, you don't know how tough it is on that offensive line. It's 100-something degrees on the field. We're down by 18 points, and we're throwing like 40 pass plays. It is difficult on that offensive line. So they did a good job, and we're just going to see, have to see how it shakes out with DJ Fluker going forward. But a very happy Chargers team and a way to kind of set the tone going forward for the season if they can continue to capitalize it and not miss opportunities in these next few games or going forward at all in the season. So we'll see how it all shakes out. From Mighty1090.com, I'm Annie Heilbrunn.